How's it? What's up? Haven't made a video in a while because Varsity has gotten insane once again. Um, so today's video is all the things that I've been working on recently and I'm still currently right this very minute working on just to catch you up on things and to make a record for myself what's been going on at the end of August, third year online learning, all of that. So let's get straight into it. So first things first, I have been working on an EBB control systems practical. Um, what I've got here open on the screen is the Python code that's plotting our graphs and on the right hand side here the beginnings of the report. So uh, the practical is about like the, the mob that we have to build, the self-driving car and like a mock control system for it. Uh, it's basically just a theory, mathematical prac and simulations. So linearizing a non-linear model, obtaining transfer functions, just a whole lot of maths in there and then using the differential equations of the models, simulating with a couple of different control inputs. Uh, so that's what this Python code here is. I actually haven't written this, this is my group member. Uh, absolutely killing the game simply uh, It's a funny thing, I haven't met my group members for EOD because obviously we're all just still online for the semester. And for my other module that I'm doing, MIA as well, I haven't met my group members either. And yet been collaborating with people. It's been kind of cool to meet new people and graft and that without knowing them or ever having met them. Yeah, it's... Uh, cool things that are happening at the moment during COVID. So this thing, as you can see here, plots different graphs. This is um, the control inputs versus time. This is uh, X, Y, and theta position variables over time. And then uh, X, Y, or Z1 state versus Z2 state over time. Uh, so that's that Python code. And then what I had open here earlier, that was the latex code that I'm busy typing out for our reports. Because of course you have to get all your calculations in that on in a nice looking format in that to submit for your report. So this is just Overleaf Online Latex Editor uh, that I got going on here. So that's my report. So far, it's looking good. Um, obviously need to fix the formatting in that, but it's just maths. Then, the other thing that I'm busy working on at the moment, besides normal lectures and that, is an MIA practical. So MIA is our engineering uh, social impact slash group work module. It's a bit of a just chuck, it, chuck a whole lot of stuff into a module and call it a day kind of subject. So at the moment we've been busy like formulating a proposal for a, a potential system that we have to design. So we don't actually have to design the system but we have to do all the planning, management and logistics and that as if we were going to actually build it. And so we just have a proposal due tomorrow which I'll put over here what it's looking like so far. So that's what you can see right here. Um, description, like scope description, inclusion. Um, and then a whole lot of writing out of different responsibilities and what different group members and that have to do. And then in addition to that, I have a responsibility matrix that I'm busy doing. Um, I have a Gantt diagram that some other group members are doing later that are, is going to come to me and I'm going to send it all into the report. So yeah, a lot of actually reports and projects that have been happening this week. Um, never mind the fact that end week starts on Saturday and I have a calculus, like 238 maths. Semester test that counts probably for like 30% of my semester grade for maths on Saturday. So I've been trying to, in between projects and that work on that, I did a past test earlier. Um, convergence, divergence, that kind of stuff. Sequences and series. It's quite interesting and just it's just a lot of graph. Like you just got to really sit down for hours and get working at it. So that's been going well. At least, oh and of course, icon values, icon vectors, the last part of that section. Um, and then yeah. I have also, of course, been trying to keep up with lectures and lecture videos on that. The asynchronous learning works well for me because it means I can watch EOD uh, lecture videos at like half past 10 at night just before bed because I'm watching them at 1.4 speed because the lecturer speaks really slowly and because it's the kind of stuff that you can just sit and like, you know, whiz through in your head. And then when I watch like maths lectures, I can sit slowly and watch them at 1.4 speed and reverse every two minutes in that when I need to, to go back and watch a concept again and really understand it. Um, so yeah, I've been doing some lecture videos and that as well. Uh, not that much this week, but just trying to keep my head above water or that sort of stuff. Oh no, I completely forgot. I also did an ERD prac for Monday. We had to do like a mock system design and that for a, a project that we were gonna build on campus. So my group and I decided to build a campus security system. And so then we just had to draw up like a Gantt diagram for that. We had to draw up, um, you know, system architecture diagram whole lot of uh, text and responsibilities and just uh, you know like the the research net behind a system that we would build if we had to build a kind of a, a small electronic system on campus because this ERD module used to be uh, an actual in-person module where you, you had to build a practical system but obviously because of COVID that's not happening right now and it's being replaced by that um, kind of semi together digital but actual physical hardware robot car mob that we're building 
later in the semester. Don't have any details about that, but that's happening later in the semester. Um, so the, that's the practical side for this thing. So just a bit of bit of um, theory in that that we did for this week's Monday practical. And amongst all of that and that, I'm trying to actually get some sleep. I felt myself getting a bit sick this week, and it's not a good time to get sick. So I just uh, have taken some days off gym now because gym has just opened, and I went twice. Um, and then end week happened, or well, end week is about to happen. Always during end week I don't get to go to gym a lot, um, and I am most stressed and most miserable in that. So it hasn't been a wonderful week, but like pushing through and work is going alright. I'm gonna get back to it now. Got some stuff to do. But yeah, that's been this week. Basically just been focusing a lot on the three practicals that we had due this week. I know my friends had more. They had an EDC and an EPE prac as well. Oh yeah, I've also got a control systems class test tomorrow. Hmm. Should probably start studying for that. Hmm. Oh, damn it, I completely forgot about that. Um, luckily for control systems, the semester, luckily or unluckily, the semester tests count 40% of our mark. So you can kind of leave a lot of the other stuff and just focus on the semester tests. I mean, you still have to pass 50% for all the practicals to even get into the exam. But besides that, um, if you do well enough in the semester test, you can kind of skate through, which is what I'm kind of banking on at the moment. So I really better start grafting hard for Eng Week next week. I'm only writing three tests in Eng Week because for this MIA Engineering Group Work slash Societal Impact module, we don't have a semester test this week. We've got two important class tests later in the semester and a second semester test, and then the big project, which actually counts for most of our marks. So I only got three tests this coming week, one of which is already on Saturday, and then I think. Tuesday, Friday, I think so. I must double check, triple check. Um, so there's a bit more spaced out, so next week I'm just gonna really study and graft and not work on practicals. But it's been a good week. As I said, I've been enjoying working with some new people and working with people that I haven't met before uh, on a digital platform and that. It's amazing how, I just, I keep on saying and that. My friend Matt Cornelius uh, watched one of our videos and said, Mitch, the amount of times you say and that is just stupendous and I agree, it's something I hate. And I'm really trying to change when I talk. It's something so annoying and so unprofessional and uh, it's like my um. But anyway, moving on, I'm going to really spend a lot of time studying in the next week, grafting, really just learning some stuff that I should have learned a couple of weeks ago, getting my uh, head ar around some concepts in that that I, haven't, uh, <laughs> that I haven't mastered properly. And so I will talk to you soon after end week. I'm sure work will start again ridiculously after that. I must eventually... Uh, work on some personal projects like my web development and bug tracker and YouTube videos and so I've got lots of ideas for YouTube videos just haven't had the time to do them but that's no excuse I'll get on it and I'll talk to you guys soon thanks for watching cheers